So, I'm going to make a new table in Grasshopper. I'm going to make a task table. This table doesn't exist at all in my current installation, so I'm going to do it from scratch. Um, it shouldn't take too long, he says hopefully. Um, and basically this will take you from beginning to end. So uh, I'm going to create the uh, task table and actually create a task and make the task show up on a module page, etc. So first things first, let's get rid of that cover text. Oh, that worked perfectly. Still working with XSplit, you never know how it's going to work. So okay, here we are. Uh, this is Grasshopper. I've sized the window specifically for this video, but it should be all right. So I'm going to, so I know what I want to call my table. I'm going to call it task. So I'm going to, first of all, make a form so I can check and make sure that there are no tables already named task. There are not. Good. So make and a new form. Here it is. So new form. And that opens up. I'll just close this off and I have some room to work with. Ignore this. This is just some diagnostics I've been running uh, because I've been having some issues with cron. So pretend that's not there. Uh, although it obviously is there. Okay. All right. So uh, form help. If I wanted to make help, the URL would go in there. I want it to show up on the make menu and I want to show it to show up on the find menu. Now those are the, uh, this is the make menu and this is the find menu. Find, you have to click data and then the thing shows up. So uh, I tend to just stuff everything into the make menu. But if I was like in production, I'd only have a few of my really important things in make. Task might be one of them and then everything else would be in find. And then the form data. So my task is going to have a title. It's going to have uh, it's going to have uh, the description, and then it's going to be associated with a module. Might have a URL. Yeah, it might have a URL because I'm going to want third parties to be able to submit their tasks. So how do I do that? So here's see what I did. I clicked on help. This is help for the form editor. So uh, when I'm creating a new table, I can create tabs. Uh, I don't have to put everything into the same tab. So uh, if I don't specify a tab, it'll default to edit, but I can specify a tab and a tab title if I want. And then I can specify the different types of uh, form elements I want in my table, like uh, a published tab here, which have published date, etc. So I can have dates. Uh, titles, links, authors, descriptions, etc. Okay, so um, and I think this is wrong. I don't know if that'll work, but whatever. So I'm actually just going to copy this because I'm super lazy. So copy it and then now I'll come back into edit. See, I'm still in the edit window, right? It doesn't go away. So and form data. So here's my form data. Do I need an author? Yeah, let's leave it in just in case. Uh, do I need a feed? We'll leave it in just in case. Um, but we'll put it under the description. Um, and right now I'm more worried about the module. Uh, module. Oops. Try to spell that correctly. And that's a key list. So here's what I've done then. I didn't bother with tab uh, because I'm just going to have one tab uh, and it'll be edit. So the title, Varicar, which is a type of string, maximum length of 256, the length, same thing. Description, oh, I'm going to want it to be um, one of those windows with a nice editing form in it. So that's why I put what you see is HTML5. That might not work. I might have to come back and change that to simply HTML, but we'll see, I forget. Uh, okay, so there's my, uh, my table. And uh, there's no, no submit to click, right? When you type in, it saves. Uh, you can see the little swirly button thingy. Uh, okay, so 
The other thing I'll want to do is I'll want to actually create the task table. So here it is. Um, so yeah. more database functions. And so I'm going to add a table task. And that's it. Add a table. I could import, I could whatever. I'm just I'm doing something real simple. Right? Add a table. Task. So I've added the table. So now I'll come back into I should have just a quick zippy back thing. I don't think the backs don't think this will work. Well, let's check. Does the back key work? It sometimes does. It sometimes does. It really depends on what I've been doing. Uh, well, it depends on what's on the screen, actually. Uh, okay, so uh, let's do it this way. Let's form, and we'll see my task is here. Capitalized. I didn't want it capitalized. No big deal. There we go. I like to leave the names of the tables. Um, non-capitalized uh, <laughs> so I have a little duplicate entry thing which prevents me from creating the same thing twice and so sometimes you have to fool it if you're doing things like recapitalizing there we go all right so now let's uh, close this side window off and let's go into the table and Look at that. See, when I create a new table, it does a bunch of stuff for me automatically. It gives me a description, um, and it gives me a title, um, and uh, it, does it give me a link or a URL? No, no. What did I call that again? I called it link. Uh, I probably shouldn't call it link, but I did. I, I sort of need to be careful. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. Task link uh, and that's a var car 256 uh, whatever whatever and we'll save it okay command show columns that's a bug I have to fix um, but we'll just come back oh we have to load it again okay see not everything works perfectly in grasshopper yet you know it's just things it's a work in progress it's a labor of love all right so there's my task link worker task description I haven't given it a size because it's text I don't need to give it a size um, and task title worker I think I probably should have given this t55 I'm probably not being super efficient with memory here oh well big deal so I have a table and I have my form. I have created my task. Uh, so let's go look and see if we can make one. Uh, right, reload. Because uh, it doesn't show up here. If anything doesn't work, just reload. Right? And it just reloads Grasshopper from scratch. And uh, often uh, the JavaScripts won't load properly if you're on a slow server, which I am. Uh, I'm really learning a lot testing it like this uh, with on a slow server. Um, I could have a faster server. It's not Reclaim's fault. But okay, so here's task. Make it. So let let me let me just jump into form here. I want to explain what I did. So I should list the form. So. Uh, here's task. Okay, again, I've, this is where I defined task in the form editor. So I gave it a title, which we saw, a link and a description. You didn't see any of these in the actual table. And you won't, right? Because these are associations to other tables. I want to associate, for example, a task with a specific module and maybe with an author and feed. I don't know yet, but I just put them in there just in case. Module, I know I want to do for sure. So there we go. Uh, 
this is what creates that association. So now when I go to make a task, so let's make a new task. Um, okay, so what will I call it? I'll call it uh, identity beyond identity. There's no link for this one. So that what you see is HTML5 that did work. So there's my fancy editing window. So um, I'm going to, uh, I, I pre-wrote the actual description of the task here. So here it is, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Normally I'd just type it straight into the window, but there were some server issues earlier on. So uh, I typed it here, now I can just copy and paste it. So here we go. Um, so there we go, that's, that's the task. It's a bit longer than I would like perhaps, but who, again, like who cares, right? Um, it's, it is what it is. Now see, see that an error has occurred? Um, it's what happens when your server connection isn't 100% with, uh, your, with your uh, browser. I'm doing this from the office with questionable bandwidth and uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work at the other end, anyhow. But, you know, but it keeps trying. So I'll just watch for that content okay. I'm going to put those off to one side so they're not so big and huge and intrusive. But right now, this, was, this is fine and it lets me know. Okay, so I've created this. Now I want to associate it with a module. I'll eventually have drop down lists here uh, for things where I have a short list of mod or short list of items. Couldn't do it for author and feed, right? Because author and feed, I might have hundreds of them. So you don't want to drop down with hundreds. But I only have 12 modules altogether. I could easily have a drop down, but right now I don't. So what you do is type in the name or the title of the thing, in this case, the module, if you want to associate it with identity. We'll update that. Uh, there we go. Now again, sometimes it doesn't take and you have to reload because uh, JavaScript and slow servers. But this time it did, so yay. Um, so that's great, right? Uh, so I've created a task. If I were to list tasks, so let's do that. Uh, we can see my tasks. Identity. And there it is, right? Um, so there's no way to view it yet. I need to create a view for this thing. Um, so let's do that. Let's just create the standard HTML view for a task. So I'm gonna make a new view. So let's list the views. And what I do when I'm making a view is I just uh, steal some other view. So I'm taking event, but it doesn't really matter. Event.html. Uh, oh, that's way more than I want. Never mind. Uh, Feed.html. It should be more simple. No, it isn't. <laughs> uh, Journal.html. That'll be simple. Right? Yeah, that's pretty simple. So I'm just going to copy that. Now I'm going to make a new view. So make new view. So what, what I'm doing here is telling Grasshopper how to display a task in HTML. Um, so anytime I call for a format HTML, uh, we can ignore this. It, it, I hit enter twice. <laughs> um, it'll, it'll show this. So here's my new view. I know. Okay, now if I'm not really sure if I'm saving all of this, I'll just list my views and see if I can't find it. Next 100 results. These lists are coming nice and quick at least. Oh, next 100 results. I have view glut, obviously. So task, oh, task list, task HTML. Oh. Oh, this is old. This is from before when I made tasks somewhere else. Okay, so, all right, so it really didn't take. Doesn't matter. 
Um, so um, this is old formatting. If I want the date now, um, remember any it automatically added CR date. So anytime uh, a new item is created, it automatically gets a CR date. So date format equals nice um, and time equals oops, not drawing time. Time equals time equals CR date. So I don't really need to do this, but whatever. Uh, gee, you know, I, I should have given tasks a due date, shouldn't I have? Uh, okay, why don't I go back and do that? This will sit here. So uh, let's go to uh, the form, list form. And I've forgotten how to put in time in the form because you know, I always forget these things. But okay, well, let's go to task. So we'll edit our task form, check the help, see if help will tell, oops, wrong button. Uh, yeah, there it is. Check the help. Let's get rid of that. But I'm having trouble with the sliding tab. I'm using a small version of the uh, browser. So, uh, no, I haven't put the information about time in there, have I? Um, have I? No, terrible, terrible. Um, but I do know it exists, so, uh, so all events have times, right? So let's find an event. So, Start date time. Yeah, it's just date time, right? Uh, and it, it's good for times to give it a label. That's what this start is at the end. Okay, so we'll go back now to um, to uh, task and let's give it a due date. So so instead of start, we'll call this due. All right, and then we'll pop over to the uh, table and give it a new field task underscore do. And uh, see, I don't have a date time type in here, so I'm just going to use a var car, uh, but they're never 256. I'll give it 32, that should be plenty. Um, and we'll enter it. I think it's actually an int, uh, an integer value using the uh, Unix date, as I recall. So I could have given it an int value. Really, in the end, it won't matter. All right, so now when I go to make my tasks, let's see, let's list my tasks. Oops, identity. And you can see due date is down here. So. Well, this should pop into a nice little calendar. So again, sometimes things don't work. Reload Grasshopper um, because it does that. So make list task. There we go. So I can set it for Friday at sixteen hundred. And if you're wondering, why doesn't it do that? Why doesn't it pop up the way it's supposed to all the time? Well, it's because I was really lazy when I coded a lot of this stuff and I didn't do the document ready command for all of my JavaScript commands. I have to go back and do them. That would basically fix it, right? Because then it would, what's happening here is it's trying to run the JavaScript before the page is finished loading. Page isn't finished loading, so the JavaScript fails. And so it won't pop up the little calendar. So it's supposed to wait until the document is ready, then run the JavaScript, which sets up the little calendar. So, but I didn't put in the document ready command, and so because I'm lazy, and that's why that happens. It's probably cost me way more time than it ever helped. Okay, back to view now. So let's go to view, list view. 
and uh, right, we're, we're three in. It starts with the T. Over time, you'll find that you tend to make new tables from the beginning letters of the alphabet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, task underscore HTML. So, what do we got now? Created, do. So, again, we'll just uh, cut and paste because it's faster. And, uh, and then task do. All right. Priority status, I haven't bothered with these. Again, this is legacy from ages and ages ago. Task description. And now we want the, uh, the key list for the module. So key list, I can never remember these commands either. Um, see, I really should have help for the views, shouldn't I? I will one day. Um, it's just a simple web page, and then you just specify the web page in the form, and you get that whenever you need help. Um, okay, so key list, what will give me a key list? Uh, uh, publication? Oh, I'm going to have to go to the top. List view. I tend to use post, post link HTML is my standard reference for everything. So when I'm looking for how I did something, I go back to that, right? And, and that's always in every installation of Grasshopper. So post link HTML, there it is. So how am I doing my key lists? So uh, here's one for the author. Oops, don't want to delete it. We just want to take a copy of it. Control C. All right, so next 100 results and task HTML. And close this up again. All right, so, um, so key list DB equals task. Um, and the ID is the current task ID. And what do we want it associated with? Module. And could put a comma there, but I'm gonna put a BR there. If there's more than one module, I just wanna give it you know, one for each line. There probably won't be. And that's why I'm putting a BR there as well, because if there is only one, I don't want a comma to follow it. Okay, so that's my view. So task HTML. One more thing, to, and we're done, believe it or not. So I want it to show up on a module. So I'm going to list my views again. And uh, so we're looking now for module HTML because that's where I want it to show up, right? So here's the, uh, the view for modules. I'll make this window a bit easier to read. So uh, here it is, looks really nice. Um, and uh, okay, probably should, never mind. I'm thinking about how I should do the views now, right? But I'm in the middle of doing a video. So, uh, so, Let's put the task actually up near activities um, and actually, but after the synopsis. So we'll do it before the media, right? So uh, again, I'll just copy and paste because it makes life easier. So there are other ways of putting headings on the page. Um, but I'm just typing them here. Okay, so I'm in module, so uh, database is module, ID is module ID, uh, format HTML. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it format outline. I'll explain why in a second. Um, uh, key table equals task. And we only need 
one semicolon there. Separator is BR, just like I explained before. Now, okay, so now I don't have a task outline view, so I'm going to have to create one. So that's what I'll do. And what I'm actually going to I'm going to copy this. All right. And you'll see there's another one down at the bottom box, course footer, right? So um, let's go now to my task view. Really should have called it something else like assignment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where'd it go? It's right here. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna oh okay. Well I'll just have to remember it. I can only copy one thing at a time. Box course header. Let's remember that. Alright, so we'll go into task HTML. on the edit right okay oh I don't need to remember it okay so I'm gonna put box course header and box course footer at the top and bottom of HTML uh, okay and now I'm gonna copy this content this is all the stuff about what the task is and now I'm going to create a new view. Let's make sure that's saved. The little wheel there. Um, it's superstitious. It'll do it no matter what. But I t often just click on anything just to make sure. Okay, so new view. So new view. Task outline. And my old version. Now I'm not going to want it H2. Right, that's that's really big, and also I'm going to want it to link to the task. So, and also I know it's going to be a task. Right? So um, let's just uh, href equals, and now the uh, site URL. Now, actually, the site CGI URL, um, and then page.cgi question mark page uh, what am I saying uh, task equals and then task ID task title there would also work but task ID makes for a cleaner URL um, and then there we go Let's close the Okay, I know it's a bit, you know, a lot of this stuff is fairly simple. Uh, it's copy and paste uh, from other things and then you just tweak it until it comes out to the way you want it. I don't want to put this stuff in. Um, well, I don't need the created information. Maybe I'll, I don't even want the due date information, not, not just in the summary. Yeah, maybe I do. Uh, I'm backing up there, by the way, by typing Control Z. Now Control X to delete and copy, and now Control V to paste. I'm not a super fast typist, and I don't need this module information anymore because it's in a summary on the module page, right? So, yeah. all right, that should do me. So. This is the view I'm going to use on the module page. And you see it's going to link to the task page. Task underscore HTML is the view I'm going to use on the task page. And I am done. Um, don't think that was very long. Um, so, but of course I have to test. So let's test this. We'll go into the, uh, into the course, into the outline. Um, the module is identity, activities, synopsis, tasks. Here's the task called identity. And we'll click on this. And here's the page with the task called identity. And uh, that's her. 
Um, and actually, you, this is probably task number one. Um, and actually, it saves a version of it. Uh, HTML should save, huh? maybe not. Um, in the nice ideal finished world, it will save me a nice HTML version of it as well. Um, so there it is. Um, I can view this task anytime on this page. Task equals, it really should show me that. Um, oh well. Uh, now, just something to keep in mind. If you change this page, um, simply reloading it might not show you the change. So the trick here, if you make a change to the page after, do and force equals yes. Whoops, force equals yes. And what you're doing is you're forcing it to recreate a new version of the page when you use that. Use that and you'll get the latest version of the page and it'll actually print a new version of the page in the cache and that way you get the most recent thing. I guess I didn't need this, I'm just link. Oh, it's linking, the, right, it's linking back to the module, remember, that I associated it with. And again, that's not working. Uh, the reason why those aren't working is HT access. Um, so I need to define both task and module in my HT access, and I might as well do that because I've got you right here. So uh, let's go into reclaim, uh, into cPanel, we. Um, and we'll pop down into File Manager, and you should be able to find HT Access in here somewhere. Sure. Oh wait, we have to go into uh, the right directory for our course. Here it is, EL30 in this in this case. And there should be an HT Access file in here somewhere. There it is, and I'll edit this. Uh, the edit button. Edit, edit, edit. There it is. See, I can edit right in here. You probably shouldn't. Eh, whatever. Um, edit. Actually, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. So, see, these things are called rewrite rules, right? They're, they're a little bit hard to see. Maybe I can make them a bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Oops, maybe too big. Um, so, these are called rewrite rules. Um, what's, what this is doing is saying, uh, if you get something that has the site URL and then one of these and then a digit from 0 to 9 with RD, then send it to this. If you get the site URL with post and then just the number, send it to here. And this is that, that page thing that I told you about. So you see how I don't have module in here, right? So And I don't have task in here. So I'm going to put them both in. So, module oops, and task. Is there anything else that I've missed that I should put in? I don't know. I can't think of anything. Module task event is there. Yeah, good enough. All right. So that's all I needed to do. So I've added those. I'll save the change. And now this will work right away. So we can come back to uh, come back to our page, which I've lost. 404 not found. Yeah, let me try reloading that. And see, there we go. It takes us right to our module. Similarly, as I said, it's probably task one, right? Task one. So I'll try that. And looking for time, I guess it wasn't task one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how do you find out what ID number your task was? Uh, a little bit of a trick here. So, um, uh, so, oops. so, page, you know, the page title works too. So, let's go find my task. List task, and we have one identity. 
There it is. And you see where it says show record data? Click on that and then it'll show you all the record data. It's not a lot, but as you can see, there's the do in the uh, form of Unix date. You can find all the data about any records by clicking on that link. So we see it's actually task ID seven. So, okay, good enough. So task seven, so here's the URL for that task. Hit enter and voila, we got it. It, it actually changes the way the link appears. Uh, on my old site, it didn't do that. On this site, uh, it does do that. The reason is in HT Access, I don't know how to make it not show this full version of the link. Um, the old site, I did my uh, rewrites using um, a server configuration file instead. And so it always showed the, the nice short link. Anyhow, that's it. We've created a task. Um, I see that my my window has been too small all along. Oh well, doesn't matter. I uh, hope the video was still good. And that's it. I'm Stephen Downs. This is eLearning 3.0, some grasshopper stuff, making a new type of data from beginning to end. It took me that long. Bye all.